Hey kids, this is Jeff. It's time for the studio version of our small group activity from our fall outdoor kids church experience on Saturday. Come with me, right back here to whatever this is. Hey, I've got Brooke with me here in the studio today in the Zooplosion studio, and we're gonna have a small group activity called Red Sheep, Blue Sheep, uh, which sounds like a Dr. Seuss story, but it's not. So this week in our Fall Outdoor Kids Church experience, we learned that God provided Jesus to lead and to guide us. And Jesus described himself as a good shepherd, a shepherd who was always there for his sheep, who protected his sheep, who led them and guided them into good things, and who never, ever, ever abandoned them. And so this week, uh, out on the patio, we divided the kids into two different flocks, and we had one led by a good shepherd and one led by a bad shepherd. Now, there's no kids here in the studio no. to divide, uh, so we have created our own flocks. Uh, what have you got over there? Uh, I have a sheep. That makes sense. Uh -huh. And a, a, a dog. Maybe that's a sheep dog. A sheep dog and a lion. Maybe that's a sheep lion. A sheep lion. Yeah, and I've got a couple of pandas and a tiger and an elephant. I'm pretty sure um, pandas aren't in a flock. That's a flock of pandas. It's going to be a new band, I can tell it. Uh, and one of us is going to be a good shepherd who leads our sheep into wonderful things and one of us is going to be a bad shepherd i'll let you figure out at home which is the good shepherd which is the bad shepherd we don't know we've got cards that tell us what to do and uh so play along with us at home this is just a little dividing line to keep our sheep apart so uh, i'm going to start in the first obstacle we have four obstacles okay. to lead our sheep through the first one is watering the flock so i've got my flock of yep. i've got my flock of pandas here and it says that as the good shepherd, I am going to let my sheep drink from really fast-moving water. I think you're going to regret that decision. No, no, it's great. You want, you know, like a good stream, like when you drink from a drinking fountain, you want a good, good motion to but, that water. And I'm going to take a nap while my sheep drink because... How weird would it be for me to stare at the sheep while they're drinking? It might make them nervous while they're drinking. This sounds like a bad idea. Yeah. And uh, it says one sheep gets washed away in the current uh -huh. and uh, I lose a sheep. Yep. All right, how about yours? Uh, well, um, I, as a good shepherd, find still water for my sheep to drink from and I watch them closely to make sure they're safe. So my little sheep, they're gonna go over the blue little water. Drink, drink, drink. I'm gonna watch them. And how many do you lose? None. I keep them all. Huh. Now they they all drink water and they're happy. Alright. Well that's that's weird. Alright. You can play along at home, figure out which one of us is good and bad. Uh I don't know about still water. I mean that sounds like it could be kind of like rancid and filled with mosquitoes so uh i think i'm a good shepherd even though one sheep got lost why don't you lead us to the next obstacle okay um the next obstacle says a sheep falls behind and gets lost that's not good uh no okay. if you lost your sheep you're a bad shepherd right so what i do is i leave my flock in a safe place and then i search for the lost sheep and i bring it back safely Okay. And how many sheep you lose? Um, well, well, what I'm going to do is I'm I'm going to I'm going to kind of build a little wall here. I'm, oh, I'm oh gonna, I'm okay. Gonna keep them in a safe place. All right. And then I'm going to go find the lost sheep. Oh, okay. That one looks wet. And then and then in the end, I gain a sheep. Oh, okay. My sheep are safe, and I gained one. All right. Well, m m mine says that just one sheep. Who cares? What's wrong with you? Well, it's just one. Just one sheep. You've lost two. You've lost 50%. You're failing. No, no. One sheep. Just one sheep. Oh All right. Goodness. Next obstacle. A wolf comes and attacks the flock. Okay. A wolf. A wolf. Yeah. A wolf. A wolf like to eat sheep. Arr! A wolf. Mm -hmm. not, not a werewolf, but a wolf. Right? Right. right. All right. Uh, mine says... Uh, I run away because the sheep, uh, or the, the wolf is dangerous, 
and uh, I actually take a sheep and I just ch throw it at the wolf so that I do not get bit. That is awful. Hey, I don't want to get bit. They got rabies. Rabies? Yeah, rabies. I'm pretty sure that's not true. And you just killed your sheep and you're the shepherd. It was either him or me. Right. Oh. Well, what do you do? Get bit? All right. Here's what I do is when the wolf comes, I take the sheep and I protect them and risk my own life to save them. Well, real sheep are bigger than that. He's just giving up. You risk your life for a fluffy animal? I am the good shepherd. I protect I'm my sheep. I'm the good shepherd because I'm and safe. And I, once again, lose no sheep. All right. I am up one sheep from where I started. Well, that sounds like... You're a thief, but nope. all right, nope. last obstacle. Nope. Okay, last one. A thief wants to steal the sheep. Okay. A thief wants to steal the sheep. Um, but I have been carefully watching my flock the whole time, Yeah. and I see the thief, and I scare him away, and the thief says, not a chance with this person around. Yeah. And he runs away. And then I make it to the new pasture with the best grass ever. Oh, okay. Well, mine says that I'm still hiding from the wolf. And uh, so the thief comes and the thief just kind of takes his pick from whatever's left. And, and now I don't have to worry about the pasture because I ain't got no sheep. Then you're not a, really a shepherd. Uh, am I just a chef? I don't know. You failed. You killed them all. Yeah, uh, it seems that all of my sheep are gone. Uh, I might not get hired for the next shepherding gig. Why did the red flock make it to the pasture? Because I actually cared about the flock. I took care of them and I protected them. Yeah, and, and what about what about this? Why did this flock not make it, do you think? Because you didn't care about anything but yourself. You didn't care about the flock. You didn't do anything. You sacrificed the flock, in fact. For your own purposes. I did. I'm the bad shepherd. What can I say? Well, you know what? Just like the red shepherd, she loved her sheep and took care of them. Jesus loves us. And he wants to lead us along the best path possible for life. It might not always be the easiest. There might be wolves and thieves and fast running water and all kinds of things. But he is going to lead us along the life that God has designed us to live, which is the best life possible for us. So Jesus, this is what I want you to remember, guys. Jesus is our good shepherd. And if we listen to his voice and follow him, he is going to lead us on that life that God designed us. And if you're ever wondering which voice should you follow, should you listen to what Jesus is telling you to do? Should you listen to what someone else is telling you to do? Or should you listen just to your feelings and what you feel like doing? I want you to remember the difference between this shepherd and this chef. And... Uh, remember that Jesus is our good shepherd, and he is the one who's going to lead you uh, and guide you and love you into the best life that you can have. Thank you, Brooke, for coming and shepherding with me today, yep. and uh, we'll see these guys later. Bye, everybody. Bye.